Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to make a doggy bed out of an old sweatshirt. Here's what you're going to need. Now I suppose you could do this um, by sewing machine but you know what? I don't feel like getting it out. You're going to need a contrasting color of yarn. I'm only doing this. I'm using pink because A, my dog is a girl, and B, the sweatshirt's in old navy blue, so I wanted to be able to show you the contrast. You're going to need a piece of chalk, a good sharp darning needle, and you're going to need some stuffing. Here I have stuffing from an old clean pillow and some old batting I have from an old quilt project. We want to make the bed okay the bed part so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a chalk line from the armpits in an arch up towards the neck but we're going to leave it under the neck we want this neck here because we're going to be sewing this closed okay let's measure our arms you're going to fold, fold your arms in as if you were going to fold the sweater. We're going to measure where the cuff meets the sleeve and we're going to lay them together. And this is our doggy bed. So now, when we've got this all like this, we're just going to take our chalk and we're going to outline loosely outside the sleeves just like that okay so now we have pretty much a circle here we're going to cut this off along the bottom chalk line up to the sides we are not cutting along the top chalk line okay and then we're just going to cut this waistband off Okay, I've taken some batting from an old pillow. If you don't have an old pillow, try an old towel. Now folks, I know you can buy doggy beds for $10 at discount stores. But I have old clothes, I have old sweatshirts and stuff. Okay, here's our batting. We're going to open the bottom part of our sweatshirt. And we're going to do our best to fit this body inside or fit this batting sorry inside our chalk outline the reason I'm doing this folks is because we have a men a newer dog that we've adopted and she was crate trained so she sleeps in a crate uh, in her crate at night and Penny is jealous and she wants to sleep in the crate so I've decided to make her something special all her own I'm going to sew across the top of this chalk line keeping our batting intact at this end. Now like I said, I'm using pink yarn because it's easier for you to see. Okay, here is the body of the bed. Now I'm just going to take a few stitches to hold this closed. We are going to be closing this but I'm going to show you how in a minute. Okay, now we're going to take the body and we're going to just do a couple of knots as if we were tying the quilt. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to stuff the sleeves and the upper neck. But first, we're going to take our two sleeve ends and we're going to put one inside the other just like that and we are going to sew them together with some yarn. Now, we're going to take our stuffing and we're going to start stuffing the neck hole all the way down the sleeve. You get in the picture here? Now again, I am using pink yarn for contrast purposes so that you can see what I'm doing. Now we're going to take the neck hole and we're going to sew it up. Okay, there's that. Now, we want to sew this to the sleeves. A lovely dog bed. Shall we see how Penny likes it? Now there is Minnie's cage. That's where she sleeps. <clears throat> That's where she's used to sleeping. But our Penny, our Penny's a real dog in the manger. Because Minnie is a new addition to the family, she thinks she should have Minnie's cage. Even though at night, uh, Penny sleeps with us. So let's see how she feels about her new bed. I have to do this in stealth mode because Penny hates, absolutely hates cameras. So let's see if we can get her to work with us here. All right, we've put her bed down. Let's see what happens. Come on girls, get to bed. Come on. What do you think of that? Did you like your bed? It's very nice. Yes, she's a happy girl. She's a happy girl. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, it may be just a sweatshirt and an old pillow and some yarn, but Penny likes it. And when my dog likes it, it's a hit.